Whether it's a product for home or business, farm or factory, you can be sure if it's Westinghouse. This is a true story. The incident happened many years ago. But whatever the time, as long as men drop a half mile down in the earth to dig for coal in Pennsylvania or copper under the hills of Montana, they risk their lives in the deep dark. Oh, boy, the How are you? How are you, Carson? Oh, boy. Where's your coffee? Are you ready? What's up, Frank? Oh, hey. Say to you. Have you got a cold? Yeah, what cold? I just happen to enjoy sneezing, that's all. How come Maria let you out of the house? Oh, I'm a big boy now. <laughs> I know when I'm fit to work. <laughs> I wouldn't bet on it. <laughs> Maria, take the big baby and put him to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Maria, it's an insult for the men, the way you're treating me like a baby. You forgot your nose drops. <laughs> Listen to me, Frank. Have I done anything else for 25 years? Oh, no jokes, please. It wouldn't kill you if you took one night off go over to Mr. Kramer. Yeah, but I haven't coughed in over half an hour. You'll get pneumonia, you'll see. Uh, if I get pneumonia, then you'll take care of me. Until then, I take care of you. One day's pay, it's not so important. Come on. Come on. I can lower this. <laughs> Big league. <laughs> layoff, huh? Let the kid talk for himself. Yeah, but I'm talking now and I say layoff, huh? You got five kids, Frank. That should be enough for you. <laughs> right, Mr. Marno. I'm a big boy and I can wipe my own nose. You let that loud mouth walk all over your nipper. That's my business. Oh, wake up, Kilo. Take advice. I've been working in the mines for 25 years, and I know these guys. Ain't no guys like them. You're new around here. A year. Uh, you're new on our bunch. You're new in the 2600. And there's guys here looking to see how much you're going to take. Don't let it go on forever. They'll tag you for yellow. Maybe what they tag me cuts no ice. I, I know. One of these days, I'll learn to mind my own business. He's new around here, isn't he? <laughs> In other country, you're in Trump. You stick to Arnold. Don't make complications. <laughs> Look who's talking about complications. You got five. Six. When I count the children, you I don't forget. With that running nose and the cough like three bass drums, and he's going to dig in the ears. Give me a kiss, it's almost time. An old man, she wants to make out of me. Hey! Frank, where do you work tonight? In the mine. Did you think I was going fishing? No jokes, please. I ask the question. Well, I think we're going to be on the 2600. You think? You mean you are on the 2600? Well, I always say if you're going to go down, you might as well go all the way down. 
Just for once, I think you could ask to be closer to the top. There is younger men. Younger, but they're not stronger. Listen, it's a compliment. The best men work on the lowest level. It's more danger, that deep. Oh, a few feet. It don't make any difference. It could make a difference. Twenty-four hundred level. Parsons, yeah. King, Hi. Freeman, Atkins, yeah. Gedney. Yeah. Twenty-six hundred level. Keegan, Go. Denny, Go. Schultz, Marno, Kowalski, Go. Alexander, yeah. Frankovich. That's all. Rogan. That's right. You're the nipper down there. That's right. <laughs> a pretty good man, Grogan. Nipper, that's a responsible job. Must have an education, huh? I had a year in college. Well, I mean, uh, Nipper has to be an educated man, don't he? I can read and write and have just enough brains to memorize a mind map. Oh, you think that's nothing? <laughs> hey, guys like me, you guys have been going down for 25 years. And you know what we know about the mine? Nothing. Absolute zero. We know the way they bring us down and the way they bring us up again. The rest of the mine might as well be China, for all we know. 2400, we're home, boys. All right, see you, Jack. Oh, Half a mile of rock sitting on top of us. <laughs> Many times as I come down here, I can never get over it. Half a mile sitting on our head. You all right, kid? Figure the way the wheels work upstairs. Hey, Ed, your shift boss on this crew, maybe you got the answer. If anything goes wrong down here, who's on the worst spot on the mine? We are, right? Can it, Victor. Oh, you figure at least the boys do give us an A1 nipper. It ain't enough for kid to run our errands and bring us tools. Leave the kid alone, nipper. Am I right or wrong? You and the nipper, the only two guys down here know all the escape hatches. The kid knows his job. Maybe. I mean, we ain't gonna play a game of baseball down here. 26, honey, let's All go, right, boys. Let's go. All right. Come on, Fats. Sound like a very good cough. You ever hear a cough that sounded good? No, nope, but come to think of it now that you mention it, no. <laughs> see anything? Yes. If you see a spare blonde floating around, see the ring. Here. This will keep your throat moist. Won't help too much, I'm afraid. Thanks, kid. Look, if you're, if you're sick, maybe I could get Mr. Willis. Maybe he'll relieve you. Here, the nipper. If I'm sick, you tell Ed. That's your responsibility. <laughs> well, I'll be around in a while. You don't have to say it like you're apologizing. You just come around. That's your job. You know, I don't get you. You're sore at Victor because he's riding the kid, and then you crawl right up his back. Nah, the trouble with you, Salty, is you're just stupid. <laughs> Victor rides the guy. Some people can't be happy unless they're showing people around. Yep. And I suppose you ride him because you're just a, a kind-hearted old man. Well, two ways to ride a guy. One, he gets hurt, and one, he gets mad. <laughs> and I got a feeling when this fellow gets mad, he's going to be fireball. Great big philosopher, huh? No. Psychologist. Wait, come on, let's go. Hmm? Oh, ain't it a shame that a fellow like me has to... 
You need anything? Yeah. You take over. Let me parade around the mine. Take it easy, Victor. The kid is be doing his job. Okay, now, Nipper. Well, you do your job. She's not so good. Uh -huh. How about the blower, huh? Coming up. See. Take your time, kid. Hey, watch it. You better wait till I get the blower in here. I'll be back in a few minutes. Uh... Nothing like a good cup of coffee. Dave, are, are you through goofing off? Oh, they got to take me a bit of a nap. It's too nice a night to spend it underground. Let's go, station tender. Michael Aloysius Callahan, I do believe you'll be after reporting me to the company if I was five seconds late. Oh, the company looks out for them. What looks out for the company? <laughs> Over and away, me hearty. <laughs> Let's Keep get the down fire. Where'd your signal come from? All the way down. The signals are out. Right. She's dead. Get me down, man. But the signals! All right, get me down. Give me time to get the men and bring her up. seen part one of the deep dark let's turn to our Westinghouse program and Betty Furness ever see a TV set jump why do they make sets that jump of course haven't you ever seen a set like this you turn it on and it jumps like this now, isn't that annoying and sometimes after you've jumped out of your chair to go and adjust it it jumps the other way like this well that's even worse isn't it 
Well, that's something that you just won't ever have to put up with when you own a wonderful new Westinghouse big screen television set. Because jumping, or flop overs as we call them, just can't happen. They've been completely eliminated by that sensational new development called the electronic clarifier. And that's not all. When someone in the neighborhood uses outmoded electrical equipment, you're liable to get streaks on your screen like this. Now that really spoils the show, doesn't it? But you'll never see streaks on the screen of a new Westinghouse set because of the electronic clarifier. And just about every set gets the flutters like this when an airplane flies overhead. But you won't get any flutters or interference of any kind when you own a new Westinghouse set because the electronic clarifier just won't let interference spoil your picture. Now, for the first time, you get clear pictures that stay clear. Yes, Westinghouse brings you television reception with no streaks, no flutter, and no flop over in all but the most remote fringe areas. And here's another famous Westinghouse feature, single dial tuning. You just turn it to the channel you want, and sound and picture come in together, and they stay locked in tune. And when that picture comes in, you can be sure that it's uniformly clear. It'll never blur toward the edges here, as many do. It's always clear. But why don't you go and see this wonderful Westinghouse set at your dealer tomorrow? And be sure to ask him about the generous trade-in allowance he'll give you on your old small screen set. You'll be amazed when you learn how generous it is. And remember, you can be sure if it's Westinghouse. Turn now to Westinghouse Studio One and the deep dark. Three for up, one for down. Right. How far? Stop at the 2400 level, and the rest of us will go all the way. Yes, if there's any of them alive, there's no one come up yet from the 2600. I know. Get out any further. It's a fire. Your men, where's your men? No time to fight, fire. I tried to get You tried? Them. There's only eight of them that get to the other hatches. Other hatches? What are you talking about? What do the men know about other hatches? The nipper knows. The nipper? You left a nipper down there and you... I can't make it, don't you understand? Would I be here if I could get to him? Go ahead. Kill us all. Go ahead. I tried to round them up. What am I supposed to do? Die with them? Is that my job? To die with them? <laughs> Well, we're gonna have to get more help before we can get down to 2600. Hey, you gotta get out of here. That cough. I'll be all right. It's the dust. Dust. Say, is that smoke? Dust. I don't know, Frank. Fire! It tastes like smoke. Fire! This way. The hatch is back there, and so is the fire. Thank you, gotta figure out a way. What about the other hatches? Back there to the fire. Thank you, can't What about here? This way. Is there a hatch? Yeah. Right. 
for the love of Oh, shut up! Keep we trapped down here. We can run around loose, but well, you're the guy with the map in his head. You can get us out of here. That's right. Are you going to stand here whimpering like a baby? Or are you going to do your job and get us out of here? Talk! Talk. You got the lousy call yell and get your hands off. Oh, you slap, you silly. There's no time for that. Oh, take oh, it easy, old oh, boy. Easy. Love it. Easy. Speak, man. Here. Here, take some water. Take some water. Now, where are the other hatches? Sure. The rainbow. What the heck is he talking about? Is that an escape hatch? The rainbow. Sure, sure. Where? 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 This way. What do you mean, rainbow? What's rainbow? It's an old shaft mined out. I've seen it on the map. This way. In the guts of the mine. He knows we don't. I like going deeper and deeper. That's a way out, right? That's a way out if we can get there. I like getting any deeper. Right down the tunnel and around the bend and we're out here. You walk into the fire. Are you going to stay with him and come with me? Answer me. Take it slow. You'll burn your tail off. Oh. Oh. We're cut off! There's a big sheet of flame! We're cut off! We can't get out! We can't get out! We can't get Let's out! Let's go! Frank! 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 Are we the only ones left? I've been yelling my lungs out. Well, look about Aiden. Out. Where's Shorty? Walt. Dead. That's three. Victor and Fats. They're working number nine. No, six. What did we stop for, I told you were so sure and if you can't find them, get out. They're in here somewhere. Wait a second. You're crazy. We can't stop them. I can't, <laughs> can't remember. Think. <laughs> Fire! Fire! Wait here. Mike, we can't wait! You'll wait. wait! I'll be back. We can't wait. Fire! <laughs> We all that's left? Hey, wait a second. We didn't come in this way. There's no way we're going out. in there and get the drills. Fats, give my hand. Get the shovels and get your powder. We may have to blast. I know the way we can't get out. I think I know the way we can. You think? That's right, I think. May have to batter down a few bulkheads and push through a little smoke, but it's a way out. 
just one thing. I said sink and I meant it. You guys work in your little holes and that's fine, but I've seen the rest of this mine. I've seen it on paper and believe me, it's full of twists. The veins run in and out and all over the place and the tunnels follow the veins. It's a fire on a tail. Let him talk. I'm all through. I'm trying to say in short, like so. It's easy to get lost. Up here I see it, but you can beat me with a lot of words. If you question each turn, I'm gonna wind up just as lost as you are. So if you got any suggestions, make them now, because once we start, I've gotta call the shots my way. look like? Like fire, hot and lousy. What do you figure? Oh, lucky. We'll lose darn few down to the 2600. And that's where it started. No telling about any of them. No chance of reaching them. Not yet. The fire's in the cage shafts. Maybe after we clear up the 2400, we can work down an escape hatch. I don't know about 2600, but if we reverse the fans, we can save the men at 2400 level and everybody on top of it. We're thinking of reversing the fans. Hold up on that. Well, what have we got to? What do we save by waiting? The minute you reverse the fans, you push the fire back on itself. And put it out. And push the gas down to the lowest level. It's a death certificate for the 2600. How do we know they're still alive? Let me try to get down there. Oh, be logical, Dave. They're getting out above 2400. We can't risk those left up there for the few who just might be alive down below. Do what you like. We're doing what we have to do. I'm going back down. Come on, boys. Tell him we may have to reverse the fans. He thinks if we hold on a while, he can still get down to 2,600. What do you think? I think he might be crazy. I think he's got a lot of guts. Every minute we waste, we burn more mine. I know that. I also know I'd hate to be down there when the fans are reversed. Spreading fast down there, Dave. Still no sign of the 2600. It's hopeless. Another 10 minutes and this 2400 will be gone, too. All right, take him up. Come on, Dave, there's no one else down here. And clear the 2200 and work up. Well, what about you? There are three hatches down to the 2600. You'll never make it, Dave. The smoke's too thick. Come on, take him up. Dave, there was some talk about reversing the fans. I'll see you on top, Chuck. For mind map, Snipper. Kind of glad myself. Straight ahead. We're on to the right. You okay? My, my old lady, she's always be telling me I should reduce. Oh, shut up, Rager, shut up. 
He was in shore. <laughs> He wasn't sure at all. Are you sure? He stopped. And if he knew what he stopped, what would he? your skull. Take your choice. Go ahead. I'm taking that turn back. Go ahead. Go ahead. You too. What are you waiting for? I planned it. You know that. I've got a little gremlin sitting up there. When I give him the signal, he pushes the mine down on us. So go ahead on your way. You see the turn. Walk it. Walk your two stinking miles and then die. Because you don't get out that way, do you understand? You don't get out that way. That's three trips empty. How long is it since you talked to Dave? About a half an hour. We can't afford to wait any longer. We'll have to reverse the fight. I told Dave not to try it. I told him if there was anyone alive down there, they'd be dead by now. So what was the point? How many men down in the 2600? Eight. Schiff force saved himself. Well, who was the nipper of the crew? A oh, new man, a kid named Grogan. Just about cinches it. You'd had an experienced man down there. He was he a wouldn't... smart kid. He knew the map. Then he'd be out by now. Oh, you he... can't tell down there. He might have been killed straight off. That... He might have gone back to the other men. Responsibility of the ship boss. Don't kid yourself, Mr. Travis. I've been down there when it happens. And when it happens, the guy doesn't figure what he's supposed to do. Just does what he's got to do. I guess we've waited as long as we can. Mrs. Husband, no, no. they are still down there. You can't. We've done no. everything we can. No, you, you, Frank is still down there. You don't understand. He's still down there. No, he, 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 he will burn up. No, you can't. He, he has a cold. You, you don't understand. He's sick. You, you don't understand. <laughs> Reverse your fan. Hold it. Come down there. Hold it. Hold it down. Come on. Get them all get in there. Slot it down, Mike. Mama. Mama, they're still alive down there. Oh, Mama, you see when the cage comes up, Mama. Mama, he'll be on it. He'll be on it. Mother of Christ, make him be alive. Make him be alive. Mary, Mother of Christ, make him be alive. Make him be alive. Make him be alive. Make him be alive. Was he still alive when you got down there? He probably had just enough to reach the cage and then die. 2400's going, too. You might as well save as much as you can. Reverse your fans. Oh, <laughs> 
seem to be more light. The rainbow. It's around that bend. Out. You sure we can get out? Out. Out. You did it, killer. Straight ahead it is. A shaft. Straight ahead a shaft. I see it. I see it. What happened? What did they do to us? So close. So close. We've got to get out of here. We can't get out. They reversed the fans. Uh. In a few minutes, we'll be swimming in gas. We got a hole in. We just got through. <laughs> we just got through. Start filling in. We got to build a barricade. The fire's coming behind us. The gas is in front. Westinghouse program again. Put this in your pocket. Well, how in the world could you put an iron in your pocket? Most irons you couldn't. But just look at this. It goes right in the pocket, way down deep. Now, here's the reason why. You see, most irons have a handle that comes right down in the front, like this. But this is the sensational new Westinghouse open handle iron that's sweeping the country because it's easier on your wrist, it's easier on your hand, and it's easier on you. It's easier on your wrist because there's nothing to get in the way of your thumb. Your wrist stays relaxed and free to move naturally. There's no strain when you roll the iron back on its heel rest, and you never have to lift it. It's easier on your hand because it really fits your palm. You don't have to grip the handle when you're ironing. Your palm takes all the pressure comfortably, and your fingers stay relaxed. Look, you, you can even steer the iron with your fingertips. The open handle iron is cooler on your hand, too, because remember, there's nothing to bring the heat from here up the front of the iron. The open handle iron is easier on you in every way. For instance, this all-around button edge makes it so easy to iron under, around, and between the buttons. And the heat control on the open handle iron clicks into position. You can hear it and you can feel it. So you always know it's set just exactly the way you want it. Why don't you go to your Westinghouse dealer and see this amazing new iron? Oh, and while you're there, be sure to pick up your free copy of this new original word game. It's fun to play and you'll learn lots about this wonderful new open handle iron, the easiest you ever used. And remember, you can be sure if it's Westinghouse. We return now to Westinghouse Studio One and the deep dark. Be in here a while. Douse that candle, you're wasting air. 
How long can they last? Five minutes. I don't know, a few hours, maybe less. What's the setup? They reverse the fans. Shoves the fire down on us. Shoves the gas with it. Right in our faces from both sides. How soon will we clear out there? Should be clear in a few hours. It's pretty tight. A few hours, no air in here. A few hours, no gas out there. It's tight, but that's it. This is my home. It's pretty clear now. How far down? 2,400. Take another hour and 2,600 will be clear too. Thank you. What if they hold into a crosscut, barricade it in? If they'd had time. Okay, if they did. Figure it started here and worked a little Wait a minute. Minutes. What's that? The rainbow. They couldn't have made it. If I was down there, if I, I happen to know about it. Michael, I the wishes. Lower away. Chuck, it's not clear yet. I'll work along to 2400. There's a ladder there that leads down to the rainbow. Don't worry about it. Come on, boys. Take it down, Mike. Last in here, kid. Not much longer. An hour. In an hour, we break for it. Where is time? Your organ knows when it's time. <laughs> Work along the east edge at a hatch called the Rainbow. You two take that cut. I'll meet you back here in a half an hour. If no, come and get me.
You're not kidding us, Nipper. <coughs> They're not coming for us. Hey, you know it. Coming for us, right? No, coming for us. We got to get out of here. Ten minutes, Victor. Ten minutes and it's clear. I talk to you. You get this here. He's right. He's run out. We can hold on. I, I no can breathe. Clear. Let me out. Let me breathe. Don't kill yourself, Fats. Not for nine minutes. Count it, Fats. Count off the seconds. Oh, let me out. Let me breathe. I kill you. That's it, Fats. Kill me. Tell me you let me out. Tell me you let me <laughs> <laughs> Not for a few lousy minutes. Somebody, help me. What is it, Andre? Andre! What is it, Andre? Andre! <laughs> 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 
Uh, Frank, uh, help me. Uh, Collapse. The helmet man. Uh, now, now, Gary. You've done now, enough. Now. Wait for the helmet 20, man. 20, 2600! 2600! Frank. Frank. Frank! 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 Twenty-six hundred! Alive in twenty-six hundred! Twenty-six hundred! Alive in twenty-six hundred! You're alive! Twenty-six! But listen, he's alive. He's alive. I know he's alive. Naughty, fast, they're coming. Oh, they're coming. Oh, 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 they're coming to help each other. Where's Frank? 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 Where's Breathe it. One more. The nipper. Who? Where's the nipper? Nipper. The nipper. Stay there. Where's? Betty Furness wants to talk about easy money for you. Yes, it's easy to win $5,000 or any one of 572 other cash prizes totaling $25,000 in this big new Westinghouse light bulb contest. It's the easiest money you ever made. Let me show you all there is to it. First, you buy any three Westinghouse light bulbs like this or one bulb that's worth 42 cents or more. Now, I'm sure you need light bulbs anyway, so why not get brighter, longer-lasting Westinghouse bulbs and enter the contest? Second, you identify these four famous storybook houses. I'm sure those houses are familiar to all of you. Look at, look at that shoe house, for instance. And then, 
third, you finish this sentence in 25 words or less. A brightly lighted house is a happier house because... Now there, did you ever hear of anything so easy as that? So hurry and get your entry blank at your Westinghouse dealers, your variety or hardware store, your grocer, your stationer, or your druggist, your department store, anywhere where Westinghouse light bulbs are, are sold. And you'll find the pictures of those four storybook houses right on your entry blank. Remember, this contest offers you a $25,000 in 572 easy cash prizes, and I'm counting on you to win one of those big prizes. Treasure Island, Robert Louis Stevenson's immortal adventure classic, will star Francis L. Sullivan and Albert Decker. Paul Brenson saying good night for Westinghouse, who have made more than 40 million products for the American home. We hope you'll be with us again next week. Meantime, remember, the Freedom Fair is on at your nearby Westinghouse dealers. Why not drop in tomorrow and see it? And while you're there, ask him to show you the new 1952 Westinghouse television sets. Also, take a look at that open handle iron. It's so easy to use, and it's easier for you. And now until next week, good night. Technical advice and equipment by Gardner Denver Company.